Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Elsie. I'm new to YouTube, so I'm super excited to start my own platform on here and to share a little bit about my lifestyle, a little bit about my plants, a little bit about my nails, a little bit about Disney. Just It's going to be a bunch of fun things that I'll be adding on to my channel. So I hope you follow along and you really enjoy the next few videos that I have for you guys. My first series on my channel will be my plant diaries which I'm super excited about because I've always been into plants. The only thing is I'm not very good at keeping them alive. Kind of. I've had my outdoor plants for about three years now I think. Yeah, three years. My mom got me my first aloe vera plant. It was a little sprout from her own aloe vera plant which she gave me for my 21st birthday and I've had that for, yeah, three years already and it's been doing super good too so in addition to my aloe vera, I have like this succulent and then my husband has some fire sticks that we have out there as well and they are super cute, you'll see them later in the video but they've been doing super well ever since having those, I have always wanted to get into indoor plants so yeah, I wanted to take you guys along on my journey. With that, I've added quite a bit and it's exciting to see them grow and to kind of learn along the way because I'm not at all a expert plant owner or plant mom, I guess you can say. If anything, I'm always asking my aunt questions because she's super good with plants and so I always send her a text, send her a picture like, is this supposed to happen? What do I do to fix this? And I'm always Googling too, you can ask my husband. Like, I'm always Googling. If it's not one thing, it's another. He always says that I come up with my own ideas for why my plants are dying even though they're not dying, but I do think that they don't look as happy as they had it before. This is the first video in my plant diary. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. I will go ahead and be doing a voiceover on the next video, which will be kind of giving you guys a tour of all of my indoor plants that I have at the moment. And then I'll kind of keep you guys updated as well either posting my next videos in the plant diary series and then I'll also always be posting pictures of them and really stories in my Instagram which I will go ahead and tag here all of my socials as well so that you guys can follow me on there. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and subscribe! Alright, so this first plant I have here is my three different types of dracaenas. When I first was looking at this one and trying to pick it out, I didn't really know exactly what type of plants these were and how to care for them. That's why they some of them have some brown tips here, but they haven't gotten any worse and I think it's actually done a lot lot better. So I love that one for sure. And this here is my aloe vera. These two that I'll be showing you next are propagated from my aloe vera that I have outside. And they're growing pretty good if I do say so myself. They're growing pretty quickly as well. So I think these are definitely an easier route for getting new indoor plants. My pothos is leafy. So my leafy here, my husband bought her for me when we first moved into our new house and so I really had to learn how to water her properly and where exactly in the house she would thrive. So she had one marbled leaf and I was hoping that she'd get more but I never saw that she was growing them as fast as I had wanted her to but then she grew this new little marbled leaf on the top which I'm super proud of and so uh, Leafy's doing really good she's thriving right here this next one is my Dracaena corn plant or corn tree I guess you can say but I love this one because it looks so tropical and it grows super fast there's already like two baby sprouts coming out of the bottom stem and then there's also a lot of new growth like in the center of where all of the leaves flow and they fall over so this one's one of my new favorites
This is my first Monstera. I first had it in the living room and I think it was too dark over there because she did lose a lot of leaves. So I moved her over here and she looks to be doing a lot better. This is my burgundy rubber plant. This is also a new addition. I already had a rubber plant but this is a new addition to the kitchen area that I have right here. She just grew a new leaf and she has a really dark pigmentation as well as like really red or burgundy I guess you can say stems and also where like the new leaves come out of you can tell that it's really pigmented. This is my first burgundy plant and I think I struggle the most trying to google about burgundy rubber trees because I don't know if you can tell, well you can tell, but the leaves are super droopy and I try to do everything in my power to make them perk back up but I haven't been doing it right I guess so if you have recommendations for that I would really appreciate it. Um, definitely drop them down below in the comments. This here is my new Monstera. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this one. So she looks super good. She already had this one slit here, um, but she has so much new growth. Like look at all of these baby leaves here and none of them have dropped either. I think that it's because of the different location that I put it in. It's very sunny in here. It's kind of diffused lighting, but not direct. And I think that's why she's growing so fast as well. I turn her around enough you'll be able to see a few of her new leaf sprouts that she has and all of these baby leaves that are growing so that's my only big leaf with one slit and I think it's getting some more slits as well but look at that new growth I'm so proud of it I love just looking at it and see how much it unspirals but yes so monsteras are definitely one of my favorite ones because they look so tropical and so classy and so pretty they're so nice to look at as well and I'm very very proud of this one because I feel like she's growing really fast and I haven't really been doing anything special either but she's being really good And look at how big this leaf is. It's bigger than my palm. Ugh, I just can't wait for this to grow more and more. Hopefully, once it gets older, it'll be able to be repotted into like a bigger pot so that it can grow and take up a little bit more of like the floor room or something of that sort because I'd love to see this one become bigger than it is right now. It's already pretty big compared to my other indoor plants, but I do want this one to become bigger. All right, so here is my peace lily. I propagated this one from my other peace lily um, because the other one was struggling really, really bad. And this one is also struggling. Like I don't know what it is about peace lilies, but they do not like me at all. They droop on me, they get yellow and brown tips, and I don't know what it is because I try to Google as much as I can and try to see what people recommend to do, but I have not been able to find something that works for me yet. So hopefully this one will bounce back, but at the moment she's not doing too bad, so. Okay, and this one is Bob. Um, my mother-in-law gave this one to me. It's also a Dracaena tree. This is in our living room area, so it's a little bit darker, but I did research and made sure that it was good to put it in low light as well and it would grow, but it's doing perfectly fine. I gave it a little bit of a trim because there were some burnt tips or some browning tips. So once I give it a trim, it definitely looks a lot more lively. So I'm very proud of this one as well. Thank you. 
What I'm showing you here is my husband's fire sticks. When we went shopping for these plants, he got like the smallest fire sticks that looked like they were struggling the worst. And so when we planted it, or when he planted it, it started to grow like crazy. And now look at it, it's thriving. I don't really know what this one is, but I think it's a succulent or some type of cacti, but I love it so much. And it does get like brown and kind of dried out, but other than that, it grows really fast and it stays really, really green. So I don't know if that's just because it's super hot outside and the older growth is dying off so that new growth can come out, but it still looks good. So I think it's doing perfectly fine. And this is my old faithful Oliveira that I've had the longest out of all of my plants. This is the one that my mom gave me for my 21st birthday. It definitely has its summer color on because in the winter it gets super green and it looks very alive and healthy but right now it kind of looks tan I guess you can say but this one is doing really good she's grown a lot and I'm very happy with her I was honestly very scared when I first got her I didn't really know how to take care of plants and I was like oh I hope it doesn't die because my mom's gonna be sad but I'm proud that I've been able to keep her alive and even propagate her All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll keep you guys updated as well, either on my socials or I'll be uploading videos to my Plant Diary series. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it or have any questions or recommendations as well, those are always welcome. Go ahead and comment them below. I'll also be tagging where I bought my plants and then like maybe my planters too if you guys liked those. I'll be linking them below in the description. I'll also place all of my socials here so that you guys can follow me on there. And yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next.